Okay, so it's a Friday morning. You're about to see my transformation from no makeup to makeup. Um, I'm heading into school. I have to get my second MMR booster shot today because I can't find my shot records from when I was little and um, I don't even know if my mom has any. Um, so the university is requiring shot records. They didn't used to do that. I don't understand when I was going to you know, school. But, you know, as you can see, it's a pretty miserable day in Denver. It's supposed to get prettier later. I thought we were supposed to get a hell of a lot more snow than this. Um, I thought they were saying, like, up to four inches, but it's only, like, the roads are completely bare. I don't know. that. I heard up in Laramie there's, like, tons of snow. Um, but not here. So, um, I made the kids ride their bike to school because the roads are clear. It takes them five minutes up there. Um... And they have warm clothes. So, besides, if they didn't ride to school, they'd have to walk home. And because I'm at school all day today, so I made them ride their bikes. Bad mom. Oh well. No, actually, I think it's good for them. I used to ride and walk and all sorts of stuff. I don't understand why it's such a drama. But the weather, however, is letting me wear. And I'm going to take my boot off so you can see my new boots from. Um, Hot look, they're called, the brand is Bear Paw. Look at these things, aren't they adorable? And they're so warm and fluffy on my legs. So, yeah. Um, yep, that's snow. It's like really light snow though. It's not like anything exciting. Okay, uh, today I have a quiz. I've done all my homework. Usually the way I prepare for a quiz is I will do all my homework. <laughs> basically, that's, I mean, that's basically what I do. So I'm going to get my MMR shot, and then I'm going to go to the library and um, either read Cloud Atlas, which I'm currently reading. Oh, by the way, so I'm, I'm, I'm reading or trying to read the books that the Sword and Laser book group are reading. I tried reading the vaginal fantasy books, but I don't know. I don't, I, that was, by the way, LeBlanc de Chanel. It's a primer. Um, and this is Chanel Vita Lumiere um, in number 35 Soft Bisque. It's standard at the moment. Um, I would like to start using the Dior again, but. Um, my skin isn't quite pale enough yet. Okay, so Sword and Laser. Well, first I was going to say Vaginal Fantasy. Um, it's a sort of a erotic uh, light erotica fantasy book club for women. But it doesn't have to be just women. And it's um, Felicia Day and Veronica Belmont. And I forget the other two people's names. I'm really sorry. Um, I love watching their hangout when they've read their book. But I can't always get into the book. I feel it's a little, a little light for me. I like light reading, but I think this is just a, I don't know. So anyway, so Sword and Laser is um, a show on the Geek and Sundry channel on YouTube. And... Um, they um, interview fantasy and science fiction authors and showcase fantasy and science fiction authors. I don't tend to like science fiction as much as fantasy, but, um, but I do like fantasy a lot. And um, I also read a lot of historical fiction but, um, and literary fiction, but I like you know fantasy for sort of a light change. And... Um, it's a really good show. You, if you like reading, you should watch it. Anyway, so the month of October, the selection was Cloud Atlas. Many, many, you might know the movie is coming out with, um, Peachy Keen with the, um, uh, Real Techniques by, um, Samantha Chapman, you know, the Pixie Woo Girl, um, brush. Um, The movie's coming out with Tom Hanks and Susan Sarandon, and I forget who else. But anyway, so that that's their pick for October. It's today. It's October 26th. Whoops. The wrap-up show is today, I think. Oh, maybe that's what I'll watch in the library. And so, 
I bought the book probably in 2004, 2005. It came out in 2004. Um, and I remember just picking it up and just reading it just a little bit. Um, and not really, it not grabbing me. And it's been in the bookshelf ever since. So when they said this was the book selection, I sort of thought, mm, this is painterly. Um, I sort of thought, well, um, Mac Paint Pot Painterly. Um, oh, I don't remember liking that book. I don't think I'm going to read it. And then the last few days I've been seeing the commercials for the, you know, the trailers on TV for the, um, film. And I thought, well, maybe I should really give it a chance because I'm not going to get as much out of the book club show if I don't, you know, at least make another attempt. And I couldn't really remember what happened in it or anything. I only read like 30 pages. So I decided to give it another go. Went down the bookshop um, yesterday and uh, picked it up, put it on my table next to my reading chair in the living room and started reading it yesterday afternoon. And it's so good. <laughs> It's so good. I'm really enjoying it. So, um, that is uh, Chanel uh, Eclat Lumiere in number 30 Beige Rose. So, so I decided that I was silly. So now I find myself on the day of the book wrap up show not having read the book. And so I will. Now I'm going to have to finish this book and then I'm going to have to get next month's book and I'll be late on both fronts. Gala Kiss Kiss is a lipstick base because I'm going to be at school all day. I want to a base. I don't usually bother. Um, so Now I'm going to have to read it really quickly. So that's what I was going to do afterwards because I don't really want to study anymore. I don't, it's a really long day in um, class from 12 to 4. We never stay till 4. She always lets us go a little early, but still. And so I, I, I don't want to wear out my brain before the actual um, before the actual class, I guess, is how I'm looking at it. So if I finish with my shot early, my MMR shot, measles, mumps, rubella, in case you were wondering, um, then I will go to the library and read, I was thinking. Unless the Bitter and Salty podcast manages to come out, it's a day late, and then I will listen to that, because my friends are cool, and I like listening to them. Or I could save them for the train ride home. That's um, Nepal by Nars. It's a current sort of favorite color. Um, so that's sort of my plans for the day. I, um, and this is going to be me Kong by Nars. I'm going to use it as a liner today, I think. Um, that's my plans for the day. I don't have to cook when I get home today. Usually I just um, make a pizza. Um, I have like frozen frozen pesto and frozen pizza sauce and frozen pizza bases and, 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 and mozzarella in the fridge in case, you know, so, so I can just make a pizza when I get home on Fridays. But my oldest son didn't cook yesterday because basically he wasn't home till like four and my other son had to leave at six to go. He's on the sound and props crew for the school play, so he had to be at rehearsal at six, so he would have like had to really rush making dinner. So I told him he could make dinner for me tonight instead. So I think he's making salmon tonight, which will be a nice thing to come home to, especially in this cold and yucky weather. Um, so this is Mekong. Um, that I don't have to cook when I come home from school because that's nice. Um, tomorrow I think I'm test driving the Audi A4 
um, do our blackout. Um, cause I think we've decided on the BMW. My son's getting his license, I hope, <laughs> in three weeks. Um, so he's going to be taking over my husband's car. My husband's going to be taking this car. And I get a new car. <laughs> um, but we want to test drive the Audi just to compare it to the BMW. Um, yes, it's a luxury car. I'm getting a coupe. Um, I've been driving a truck the whole history of my family, the RAV. The whole history of my family, I have been the one driving the truck. Um, we've never had a car with any bells and whistles before. We've always just had basic billies. Um, and it's my turn to have a nice car. Obviously, my husband will be driving it too when you know we do stuff together. So, yes, I'm hoping anyway. We have, you know, it's contingent on certain things, but yeah. So, driving the Audi tomorrow just to make sure that we don't like it better and. What else am I doing this weekend? Playing World of Warcraft, obviously. Um, um, and I'm making lasagna tomorrow. And steak on Sunday. I think that's my plan. Because that's what I've written down on my meal plan. Like I've, you know, talked about before. And my son, one son will be at Trick or Treat Street at school all tomorrow. He's... Him and his friends are volunteering a booth at the little trick-or-treat street for little kids at school tomorrow because that satisfies certain requirements for the IB. So they're doing that and I, he's got a Voldemort costume and they're doing like a Harry Potter booth. So he'll be there tomorrow and the other son will be at play practice tomorrow. I think he's building sets. And, and this is Crosswires Cream Sheen Mac. Um, Sunday. We have something going on on Sunday. And I can't remember what it is. There's something happening on Sunday. Do we have a Halloween? Uh, I hate it when I can't remember stuff like that. Okay, so I'm heading to the train station now. Oh, I want to read this article on John Paul Stevens's quest for the. He wants to amend the Constitution, apparently. I've got to have a look at that later. So I'm going to drive to the train station. Do you want to come with me or not? I don't know. Um, I'm not sure there's any reason not to come with me. I just don't know if I have anything else really to say. I'm not sure there's anything else really to say. Life is just busy at the moment. I don't... and expensive to tell you the truth um yeah so I, th I actually think that might be it I don't know what else to talk to you about really <laughs> I've sort of run down on what was currently on my mind I guess <sighs> I have to, to turn into school mode soon but my class is in two and a half hours I, the 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 the, the blah, 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 blah. Im, the immunization clinic at the university is really super fast and efficient so I have to get this MMR shot or they won't let me pre-register on next Thursday and I get to register as a senior and I know which exactly which classes I want next term and I really want to get into them so yeah um 
yeah, no, that's that's about it. I hope you guys are having a great um, pre-Halloween slash Halloween season. Um, I don't really get into Halloween. I don't. I'm Norwegian. I don't. I, I don't know. I just. It, it's never never done much for me. Um, I know. I'm weird. Okay. Um, I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.